Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode 7 of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. And today we are going to be playing with... Hmm, what are we going to be playing with? Snow. Yes, we're going to have a snowball fight. With ourselves, because this is a single player, so I guess that's kind of strange. So maybe we won't have a snowball fight. Maybe we'll have a block placing contest or something. But let's go and start playing because uh, my episodes have been running a little bit long and I don't want them to run a little bit long. Um, because I've had a lot to say the last couple of days and I apologize for that. <laughs> yes. But first, I have come up with a design for the tunnel. Um, I figured it's going to the Blaze Farm, which has a similar design with um, the packed ice and the diorite and the snow. So I started making this tunnel towards the Blaze Farm the same, using the same products. Um, so I just got some more snow to place, as you see here. And I forgot to get a block. Let me go get a block and because I've been <laughs> last night I was building this and I was one block short and I, every time I walked by I was like ah, I gotta get a block I gotta get that block and put that block in there and I haven't because uh, procrastination <laughs> so let's get that done um, and uh, another apology was I ended the last episode in a venting attitude, throwing, uh, where is that block? That block would be down here. Mm. Um, I was thro kind of throwing Stacy under the bus, and it sounded like I was blaming her for the situation that I was in, and in the video I kind of was, and that's not right. Because um, if you if you are unsure what I'm talking about, I ran into some financial difficulty. Some, um, and uh, it kind of came and bit us in the butt. <clears throat> and I let Stacy take on all the financial stuff. She, she gets my paycheck and she does what the what she wants, and over the years because she's been doing this for years um, she's been doing a pretty good job but uh, there's been some issues that have been glaring and honestly when I mention these issues to people that I know in real life they've kind of said you know what you should take the f her responsibilities away from her because she's not doing um, the best job she's trying but she's not doing the best job and um, some things uh, have been glaring that I should have taken it away, but I didn't want to because it would upset her. But ultimately, um, it's my money, and I stuck with her, thinking that she could fix it. And basically, what I was doing was turning a blind eye to it. I was denying the fact that. Um, I should really take over and be the, okay, I guess I'm going to have to explain this. I'm a tight wad, cheap ass mother. I don't like spending money. So, and Stacy does. <laughs> Who doesn't like spending money, right? Um, and sometimes it gets spent when it's not supposed to be spent. So I kind of like gave her the finances and said, I don't want to know what's going on. Just make sure my bills are paid. And we, you know, if we want pizza on Friday night, we can go get <clears throat> pizza on Friday night. And that's all I was really looking for. And, um, and that was me kind of being ignorant of the situation. And I saw the signs that things weren't being done right. And I still stayed let Stacy do it 
and that is completely my fault. So yes, um, we made a mess of things and I kind of blamed Stacy, but ultimately she shouldn't have been handling the money anymore at that time. And uh, she isn't now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was really kind of, I threw her under the bus and ran her over a couple of times, put it in reverse and in that last video, when ultimately um, the person who is to blame is me because I should have taken the responsibility from her a long time ago when I saw the signs, but I didn't want to upset her and I really didn't want to know exactly what we were spending because <clears throat> I'm the type of person who goes to the store and buys a bottle of water and feels guilty about it for the rest of the day. I mean, how could I spend a buck fifty on water when I can just get a glass and throw it under the tap? <laughs> yeah, I'm a cheap wad. So, um, to protect myself from the worries of money, I kind of threw all the responsibilities on her, and it was not the right thing to do <clears throat> for many reasons. It was unfair to her. Um, and it was kind of unfair to me, so I will get over it. It's, how am I going to do this corner? So it's over. I have the responsibilities now, and the only person I can blame now is me if things get messed up. Hey guys, I am back. It's been a while. It's been a week in real time. Hence the lack of videos, but I've been really, really busy. If you follow me on Twitter uh, and saw my last video, you would understand why. But I am starting to get my life back under control, so I might have some free time. I'm going to say I'm going to release two or three videos a week, but I'm going to try and get at least one out a week. So, enough of that. Uh, we were working last time on this nether tunnel, and I basically have finished it all the way other than the diorite. I just didn't bring some diorite out here with me to finish it, and I'll finish it off camera, so don't worry about that. Um, you don't have to watch me place blocks, especially now that my right button is sticking a little bit. But I've, um, so, so every time I try and place one block, I place two, which is quite annoying. So I do have an extra mouse, I just don't want to use it. It's the mouse that came with my new computer. As extra buttons, I'm an old school guy. I like the right and left button and the scroll thing, not the extra buttons. Plus, I got really fat, ugly hands that could, ah, um, trouble around small mouses. But I, I've added a couple of tunnels since last time. Uh, that's a secret. We'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is not a secret, as you saw. If you can read, you are old enough to read. You saw where this is going. I'm just going to show you real quick because these biomes are always cool to look at and I'm just so psyched that I have one within a couple of hundred uh, meters or yards of uh, or blocks of my spawning location. But yeah, ice spikes. So this is where I get my ice from and uh, my pumpkins. Remember that Keith? I need pumpkins. I need to go get those. But you know, it's not the real high ice spikes ones, so it doesn't, I don't know. I feel, always feel bad when I take ice from these biomes because they're so beautiful and it destroys the system. Uh, you can tell I took a thing down there and I took a couple down over there. I'm gonna try and just keep it to this little section and keep that, So I might wanna build in over here at some point. So that is my ice spikes biome. And I'm going to make a hallway just like the other hallway that I made to the uh, blaze farm right here to make it look like an ice spikes. And it's going to take some ingenuity or something to figure out how to do it because it is right against this wall. Hey, buddy. Um, so it's not going to have the grand opening, but I might just do a two wide hall or just make it a third wide over here and just kind of sneak it in the corner, I don't know. Maybe I'll just make this room bigger, but then it throws off the count of this hallway, so that's just things I gotta figure out in the future. Um, so other things that I have worked on, so I have done a little bit of work. Um, as you see, I did enclose this front area 
Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to take a nap. To make it look more natural, I might cut off some of this. And that's not the big deal that I've done. Um, so I've been really working on something uh, here because I don't have a home. This is like where I've been sleeping and stuff. So um, now that I've made it daytime, you can see there's snow on the roof. I took out my, what was in here? My enchanting room. I kind of cut my um, brewing stand area here, which is fine. Um, Got to get rid of those extra blocks and bring them downstairs. But I made this building. I kind of figured, you know, it would be nice to be able to look out here. And of course, I did the blue glass because that's kind of my signature. And I have a little hidey hole here, just in case I want to go fishing. And I got my little fishing pole here, which. Um, been doing really good. It's got the luck of the sea enchant on it, so it gives me luck. But we don't care about fishing right now um, because I did some stuff and I showed you. It looks a little weird because there's no roof on it and it snowed, so there's a cover of this on top of stuff which really shouldn't be there. That will all be fixed. But I made this. This is kind of my this will be my home I guess there's no room sectioned out yet um, I had to clear out a lot of blocks here this was the top of a mountain well I can't really say a mountain a hill and um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of all this extra snow and I add once I get the top on I'm gonna add designs into the floor to correlate with this design and split this up probably stick my enchanting room up here some storage and basically this is going to be where my home is going to be up here and I kind of uh, seeing that this was out into the open I kind of made that like that <laughs> big viewing area and another viewing area you can see my farms over there and I have a little plateau uh, that I kind of cut out and I'm going to do something with that what I don't know maybe put a picnic table out there or something yeah <laughs> I don't know but on top here um, I'm going to make a blue glass dome and that should be interesting. It may fail wonderfully. Um, it's going to take me a long time to do and I'll be doing most of it off camera but that's my plan. Let's put a big glass dome on this. So uh, let's see what this place looks like from far away. Um, not too sure if I like this entrance yet so that's going to probably change. Usually if it's, I'm not too sure if I like something, that means I don't really care for it. Uh, let's see, I haven't seen it from this angle. Oh, Enderman, come here, come here. You're not going to make it. You're going to come real close to me, then just zoom away. Right? Oh, come on, dude. Come at me, bro. Ah, you're too afraid to attack me. Jerk. It's only me. I can't kill you. Okay, but um, you can kind of see the design on the outside. It's a 45 block circle. Um, I kind of kept it with the snow packed, <laughs> the packed ice because you know I haven't really had much packed ice in my life and playing Minecraft, so why not overuse it in this world? Yes. What good is it to use it if you don't overuse it? So, uh, yeah. I kind of like to liked how I built it into the ground, so it kind of sinks into the ground over here. I can actually get a top view here, so... Um, this is where the dome's gonna be. And I think it will be nice. Um, but, you know, I gotta work on that for another day. So there's a lot of work. There's only one other thing I really want to show you guys before I go. Can you hear my cat meowing in the background? He's like, oh my gosh, daddy hasn't recorded in like a week. I gotta say hi to all this, all his friends and stuff online. Meow, meow. Speaking of that, um, I just want to say this. Whitefire, uh, you, you play on Afterlife which is All Out J, and before All Out J, my daughter made an All Out J fan art. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, she doesn't know who All Out J is, but I think that's kind of funny that we got All Out J fan art back there. Uh, my daughter was into Kung Fu Panda for a little bit, so that's why uh, that's there. Just so you know. Um, so yes, my daughter's an All Out J fan. Mm -hmm. Doesn't know I have any clue who he is, but... Okay, back to the video. Yes. So there was uh, one other tunnel here. And it goes for a little bit. So I'm going to run and jump and continue down the hall. This um, tunnel will be the same as the other one. It goes to my sand pit, which means that um, instead of using snow and packed ice, I might use uh, s sandstone and packed ice. So that's what's probably going to be used out here in the sand pit tunnel. And uh, why, why would I want to show you a sand pit? Um, because everybody has sand pits, and sand pits are ugly, and they destroy deserts. And it's kind of like, what do they call that? Um, the mining that you take off the top. See, sand pit. Ooh, what's in the sand pit? Not much sand. Well, actually, some sand. So, I mean, it's just a sand pit, like, and I, and I already cut off where I'm going to take all the sand from. And as you see, I haven't really needed that much sand, just maybe a couple of double chests full. Um, but I do have to grab some more for the dome. And I got plenty of lapis to make a blue also, so I can have the blue dome. Thank God for the silk touch pick. But here's something else interesting that I made near the sand pit and you guys are going to facepalm when you see this just because uh, it's nothing I've done before but this is a whole reason why I came out towards the sand pit um, there's nothing there oh no a landing platform oh no yeah I made another one of these it's a um, ocean sky spawner this one I haven't found the sweet spot yet. I think I've made it a little too low, but I don't need 500,000 drops per second. I just need a little extra supplies, basically for arrows. See, I've kind of stolen the arrows. I've only got 64. Um, but, uh, should I go up there? Uh, I don't really want to go up there. I put these ladders on here because I think it works better when I'm up in the air a little bit but you see there's one two three four platforms up there let me see I don't usually use this yeah there's four spawning areas with a dispenser of water at the end that pushes the mobs to the edge and uh, they fall and they fall over these hopper chests I mean the hoppers and I, they put the stuff in the chest for some reason I only made this, let's see, I'm 119, so that means I'm 63, so 37 and 19, which is 56 blocks above the ocean floor. I really should have put this another 50 blocks higher, so I think spawns down there and on these things are really hurting the spawns on this, because I'm having a hard time getting the spawn rates I normally do with this. The only thing that I normal that I changed is this platform is usually at 150 and that one's usually at 200. But I have that at 150 by accident, and this, you know, the blocks underneath. So I'm not going to rebuild this thing. I'm pulling lazy because I've built this a few times. Um, it's pretty easy to build. It's just spamming blocks for a couple hours and listening to your favorite band and spam, spam away. But um, I'm really just going to call it, really, because um, it's been a long couple of weeks, and I just want to get this video out, show you what I've been working on, and I think my videos are going to be going back a little bit more to normal. My route has been cut. Uh, it takes me three to four hours less a day than what I was doing before, and um, I don't know. It's... 
It's been a real tough week fighting a cold. I've got Vicks up my nose right now and I'm trying to hold back the coughing attacks. But I'll be back on my game pretty soon. So just uh, have a little patience with me. I hope you like what's been going on out here. Um, sorry I didn't show a lot of this on cam. It's just been I've been playing as little as I probably have in a long time. But I was able to get a lot of stuff done yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Because of um, I actually had a day off. So, that's it for today. It's Keith from KMH Corner. Um, next video should be a little bit back on track and don't know when it's going to be. It might be a week from today. But um, I'm going to be getting back into the videos as soon as possible. Just have a little patience for me. I'm a little struggling energy-wise and all that great stuff. It's, it's that great. But have a good day. It's K. See ya.